Welcome, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at a few verses from John chapter 5. These are the words of Jesus. Starting in verse 23, he says, Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but is passed from death to life. There are many people in the world who would acknowledge that there is a God, and they speak of how they believe in God. But many of those same people would not believe in Jesus Christ. And here we find from the Word of God, our Lord Jesus addressing that very issue, that if we are going to believe in God the Father, we do so through the Son, Jesus. That is, we can't reject the Son and receive the Father. They are together. And as Christians who believe that God is triune, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we begin to understand this. That there are people who reject Jesus Christ. They want God, but in the process, they are experiencing as a reality what Jesus is describing here, that if they reject Christ, they are also rejecting God. And Jesus goes on here to describe how then, or the outcome of believing in God the Father through Jesus Christ. And what does he say? Whoever believes, uh, he, he says here in verse 24, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life. He does not come into judgment, but is passed from death to life. Salvation, forgiveness of sins, eternal life, however we wish to describe those good gifts, are things that come to us from God the Father, but they come through faith in Jesus Christ, who is sent by the Father into the world. And so today we thank God for the faith that he has given us in Jesus, his Son. That in Jesus, who suffered and died on the cross, we find forgiveness. We find life everlasting. It's not based on anything that we have done. Jesus speaks nothing of our works here. But it's all based on who God is. It's a free gift that he offers and provides for us through Jesus Christ. And you see the outcome of that. It says that we do not come under judgment. The world is under judgment because of sin. But through Jesus, we escape that judgment, that condemnation of God. And we pass, as he says here, from death to life. I hope you give thanks to God today for his wonderful and bountiful gifts, especially Jesus Christ, who suffered and died, who rose again from the dead, that we would experience the greatest of gifts, life forever with him. Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we pray that you help us as your people to share this amazing word that we have, this good news about Jesus, your son. Forgive us for times when we have been slow to do so and help us in word and in action to share the hope that we have in Jesus Christ, who has caused us to pass from death to life. We pray these things in his name. Amen. God bless you, friends.